Hey girls, what are you up to? Well, we were just getting the new girls settled in, Mom. Um, but, uh, we're kind of having problems. We're talking about stuff, and, uh, apparently, uh, a lot of the other toys in the, um, you know, the shop, the Target, were crushing their dreams. And they said, uh, when they were in the car, they heard how your relative was talking to you. Yeah, she she's back at it. I, I don't think that's right. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's right either, but some people are like that. Well, I, I think we should all talk about it. Yes, yes, I'm only new here. And I, I I'm the one laying down by the way. Hi, hi, I'm I'm the new angle. And uh I don't think people should crush other people's dreams. Why do they? Well, sweetie, sometimes people didn't get to live their dreams, so they don't want you to live their yours. Or they don't understand your dream, or they don't believe in your dream. See, guys, what I'm trying to do is to start this YouTube channel, and I don't want you guys to take it wrong, because I love coming here, and most of you understand this is my job. This is my full-time job. And I'm lucky in that I have the ability to donate, not donate, dedicate full time to this job for the next four or five years which is what it takes to run a business now i do have the writing and i do have you know other options no not everyone can do that i realize that but the same person that tried to force me to quit before was starting in on me again today and getting very very angry and hostile and starting to scream and you all know i have anxiety and i have depression and especially when i'm close in a car with someone and they were starting to scream. It it just sets me off. But what we all have to remember is you're always going to encounter people like that. That for whatever reason, because they didn't live their dream or they're not living their dream now, they're not going to believe in you. It's hard enough to live out your dream uh, without people like that. I don't know what will happen in the next four to five years. I don't know that YouTube will be here for four to five years. I don't. No one knows that. I assume it will be. But, you know, nobody knows. Uh, that's why, you know, any business is a risk. Any business is a venture. That's why it's called a business venture. It's like going on an adventure. You don't know. Um, you have to be willing. When I told her you have to be willing to start from nothing, absolutely nothing, and be willing to go to work every day with almost nothing, and be willing to work up from nothing and go little by little by little, she did not want to hear it. She never did that. It, that's not in her wheelhouse. She comes from a completely different kind of, you know, work situation. And she thought that what she did applied to it, and it didn't. And she thought she understood once she applied what she did, and of course, she really didn't. So, that was really stressful, but what we need to remember is that we're always going to run into people that they're going to try to crush our dreams, try to destroy our dreams, try to stop us from living our dreams. She actually wanted to force me to throw out the computer to throw it in the garbage kept screaming at me kept trying to stomp on the uh dream of keeping the channel alive basically pootied all over the dream of having the channel but um you know that is her outlook that's obviously not mine so it was a major stretcher today so what we girls wanted to do is to remind all of you regardless of gender, regardless of your dream, whether you're young or old, whether it's a big dream or small, it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel, it doesn't have to be a career, um, stick with your dreams. You're going to meet people who not only hate your dreams, you're going to meet people who actively try to stop your dreams, who try to bully you into giving up your dreams. And yeah, sometimes there are going to be people close to you who think that if they're relentless enough, you're just going to cave and you're going to give them their way because you're going to get tired of hearing it but you have to stick by your guns and as much as you don't want to hear it and as much as they know you don't want to hear it because they know their tactics are getting under your skin you you have to stick with it uh unfortunately these people are never going to change 
you just, you have to stick with it. It's like Ogu would say, you have to put up your collar and ignore the uh, wind and rain coming down and just remember that war is terrible and ignore all the flak and the explosions going on around you because it's not going to change. And remember, it's eventually going to calm down because either she will pass or this, you know, the time of trouble will pass or something will happen. And, you know, the thing is, these people are always two-faced. Once your dream succeeds, they will be the people that will always say uh, they were with you from the beginning. Uh, they always believed in you and they will be there to share the cream of the crop. Of course they will. You know they will. So, um, just, uh, I, we want you people to remember to hang in there, to hang tough, no matter what troubles you are facing, because I know a lot of you are probably facing troubles yourself. And do you girls have any advice? Yeah, I think you should drop this loser. Uh, you can't drop family, sweetie. You should still drop this loser. Sounds like a real pill. She is a real pill, unfortunately. She's blood. She's still a pill and a loser. Chica. What? I'm speaking my mind. I agree, Mom. She sounds like... Mm, loser. Can I bite her face off? Mangle. Who do you think did the bite of 87? It was me. You girls are bad. Can we act like that? We want to act like a Yeah, bite people. Yay. <laughs> okay. All right, we just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Kind of give you a confidence talk. We didn't want to encourage the new girls to bite everyone, but it looks like they're going to. So uh, just hang in there, guys. Sometimes life isn't easy. Sometimes you're going to have people that want to destroy everything you're doing. But you have to hang in there, and you have to believe in yourself, even when nobody else does. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh,